So good morning. Um, I'm doing a little experiment today. So I had planned on, mm, I had planned on doing like a wrap up for August and talk about September a little bit. Yeah, I'm a little late. And then I decided to scrap it. Now I'll explain why. I know I'm looking around because I'm sorry when people are like in their car. Sorry, I just hit my window. <laughs> talking to camera. I think they're nuts. And here I am doing it. So I have been looking at portable altars and travel altars and thinking, you know, I've I've never really had one. So it's just kind of caught my curiosity and I was thinking, hmm, you know, some ideas and I want to do like a video series on that. And I thought, oh, I should probably Put one together so it kind of show what I would put in one and also too I thought oh I'll go to Dollar Tree and let's just throw one together and I thought well that's stupid and then it kind of dawned on me now recently I had to evacuate and I grabbed a few things but you know I was in panic mode so you don't think and Right now, um, there's, you know, California is just on fire. I'm in Northern California. The air quality is crap right now. Uh, Oregon's burning. Uh, Washington, Idaho, Colorado, Utah, I think they also said. Also, like I said, this is Monday, and I think Hurricane Sally is supposed to hit Louisiana um, early tomorrow morning maybe. So there's evacuation notices there. There's evacuation notices all over uh, California, Oregon, and those states. So it made me think about that. And one of the things is um, a woman from a tarot group, she had like 10 minutes to evacuate. And sorry. And she grabbed what she could, left most of her tarot decks and her spiritual items behind. And uh, they're all gone along with all the rest of her belongings. Uh, she lost her house. So I was thinking, what are you going to do? And that's the experiment. Because I think, you know, you do feel this sense of panic and loss of control in a chaotic situation. And sometimes you need some kind of, um, sense of normalcy in your life. I think that's what's been really difficult with the pandemic is people lost their norm and we're trying desperately to hold on to that and sometimes you can't but you can pick little parts and so that's the experiment today. I am at my Dollar Tree. I am going to see what I can do to kind of put something together to kind of I'm gonna pretend like I'm evacuated and pull something together to where I can have some resemblance of my spiritual practice to kind of help bring some order to the chaos. So that's what I'm going to do today. And then I'm going to show you what I come up with. All right. So in a moment, I will see you again. So I'm done at Dollar Tree and one other stop bag of goodies. And yeah, I bought more than I really expected and all of it's for this video, so, oh well, I don't care. Um, but I'm heading home, I'm going to have some breakfast, and then I'm going to put something together, kind of witchy, altery, and let's see how I do, okay? Alright, I'll see you then. Okay, so I figured I should show what I bought and then I'll set everything up. And I still have to eat breakfast. So, I figure, okay, first thing, depending on where you wind up staying, um, will determine whether or not you can burn candles, or you cannot, or whether you can burn incense, or you cannot. Now, that's why I do have some things that are an either or option, and so Dollar Tree does have these little guys. Um, I'll probably give these to my niece and nephew because they love them. Okay, so, but they do have a lot of things like this. Um, some other things that they do have, which I didn't necessarily buy for this video, but I bought because 
well, I want to know, is my brother loves these. And that actually does work, this little color thing. Oh, where is it? Right here. Right here. Little color thing. They actually do that, and the use of the crystals here allows the little light to do all that. So these are kind of cool. Um, also, they had some for Halloween that were orange and some purple ones. Now I think these are white. And no, actually they're blue. I should learn to read. Oh, and I got some red ones. That's embarrassing. I'm a dumbass. Okay, so there are these little LED lights. <laughs> I did this again. I I got some that I thought, oh, they're pretty and they're they're orange, but they work in my wreath. Um, they've been selling a lot of these, and there's only ten lights. They do take a double A battery. They're actually pretty bright. We just had a power uh, shutdown and I gave my pumpkins <laughs> to my son for his room. Um, it kind of illuminated a little bit because the house is really dark. And these might be really nice somewhere. But yeah, so they do sell these. But those are, you know, whatever. Okay, so can you burn candles? Or can you not? Those will be your options. Um, they do have some of the scented ones, of course, like the vanilla, the black cherry. Um, you get more here, but tea lights are always good. They did have incense there, but I am such a bitch about incense that it's not even funny. So the one, there's one thing I didn't get at the Dollar Tree, which was incense, but I did get other things. What they did have were these fragrance oils. But if you want to do any anointing, I got a vanilla because why not? So we'll use that. Now they did have these um, in gold and I got a silver one. So you could get one of each uh, if you wanted. And that's the little tree toppers. It's a star. I have that. I did get, I was very happy because you can never have enough of these. It's actually a three pack and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these. Um, I'm disappearing off camera. Okay, so they did have, okay, so I bought this a long time ago. I did not buy it today. I will add that into my total, um, because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. So I don't need another bag of gravel. I didn't need another box of incense, but I bought the incense, but I didn't need a uh, bag of gravel. So I'm just going to use this. You can get this at the Dollar Tree. They have sands, they have rocks, they have all sorts of things. So you can do other things. So we're going to use some of this. Um, they did have some scarves. Um, they had some animal print, which I detest with every fiber of my being. I think it's disgusting. And if I offended you, sorry, not sorry. But they did have these two packs of bandanas. You get a blue. I suck at camera work. You get a red and a blue. So I grabbed that. Um, the one thing I didn't buy at the Dollar Tree, again, kind of a bitch about my incense. I don't want anything really perfumey. And they didn't even have any um, real incense holders, but I'm going to take care of that. Is some Nog Trumpa. Because, yeah. But the truth is, you can find this almost at any cigarette store, um, convenience store, gas station. Oh, I didn't get the little freebies. Oh, well. I haven't seen those in a while. So, some incense. And that's part of the either or. You might, I did find this at the Dollar Tree. Some Himalayan pink salt. I'm not doing anything necessarily. You can do whatever you want. Um, I don't know if I showed the tin. Now, the incense won't fit in here but I'm a sucker for a tin, but you might need something to carry it all in. They have their Christmas tins out. But no, the incense will not fit in here. Oh, this is flimsy. I love it. <laughs> it's got penguins. But if you need something to carry everything in, I, they didn't have many, um, like, plastic uh, storage containers. 
they do have Tupperware type things like fake Tupperware that are cheap and they do have ones that are longer where you know your incense would fit my incense does fit in this little guy here so just if you're gonna go to Dollar Tree make sure it will latch this latch is kind of hard this is probably gonna be going to my nephew because he loves tools and we're gonna have to buy him some well the other things I got were because you know I love pens some pens these cut right in the uh, ink or the color that they are but and I'll kind of explain to it you know, more later but I got a little notebook this one's kind of cute oh that's a pouch okay I'll make my son happy this is actually going to be going to my son after all this but I'll show you what I'm going to do with it so yeah I just got a little notebook so I'm gonna have breakfast and then we're gonna set up a sacred space with some quickie dollar store like things in case of emergency and that's all you have okay all right so I am zoomed out as far as I can on this um so you can see kind of everything is pretty much in there. It didn't really fit in the tin. So yeah, you can close it like that. Um, it'll depend on what you're using, but let's set up something for some sacred space. So, move this out of the way. It's gonna sit on my lap. Okay, I prefer blue, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, I'm not, you know, getting everything all, yeah, sorry, I have stuff over here, so, do, 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 all right, so, now, yeah, you'd probably want to cleanse the whole area, and there's some ideas that, one idea I didn't even think about myself, so, you know, whichever. So you can use like these in here. I didn't pull out the tab yet, but you know. But I'm not gonna use those because I likes me some candles. Here we go. Pull that out. So I'm gonna pretend like we can. burn incense and do all that fun stuff. Hopefully this works. Watch it not work. I think the important thing is to like if you're trying to do this after like an evacuation um, have my salt have my oil see how it smells oh it's one of those yeah it's got this little thing there it smells nice it smells yummy it smells like I want to eat it put my box down okay so the thing is sometimes you you know if you had to leave really quickly then what you might want to do is you might have to think outside the box so this is thinking outside the box a little bit Let's light our candles I'm not gonna open up the salt right now oh no I got vanilla all over me but you can um, one of the things I didn't think about is depending on whether or not you can burn anything you can get some salt get some just plain water you don't have to have moon water or anything like that you can get a spray bottle at the Dollar Tree and you can add water and a little pinch of the salt bless it and you can spritz it around and that will you know kind of cleanse and purify your area if you wanted to, you might need a little alcohol, though. 
but you know, if you're stressed out, Shooter Smirnoff might sound really good. Um, oh, is it leaky? Oh, it's a little leaky. Maybe not get these. Anyway, um, you can also put a little oil in there, but it needs the uh, alcohol to kind of get into the water. But again, you can do like, like almost like um, a cleansing spray. I did not think about that. So the other thing I didn't do was do the whole, what is it called? Uh, buy a lighter. Now they do have lighters at the Dollar Tree, um, but you know, you, you can go to uh, just about any place and get a lighter. So if you need a lighter, that's going to be easy. I should have used an open box. Okay. Now, if you're able to, like I said, burn candles and incense, then this might be what you can do. Um, if you can't, you can... Um, do anything with this one. This is going to be my incense holder. And you can have these little candles in here. But, yeah. Oh, you didn't do it. Damn you. Come on. Get lit up. You don't light my candles. Who cares what order I do this in? My life is chaos. So... Come on. You can use your incense smoke to cleanse your space. And then you're still going to get ash everywhere, but you see what I'm going for. Now, oh, my room's going to get smoky. So, why is this important? If you are having to leave your home suddenly uh, through an evacuation for whatever reason, like I said, this might give you an idea to do something where you have a box or whatever to grab and take with you, just real quickly. But if you don't, then what you can do is you can kind of set something up. And so why is it important? If you have to evacuate, some people have no notice or just a few minutes. Some people, I was lucky we had quite a bit of time to get everything and to evacuate. It doesn't change the fact that you feel like your life is out of control. And it's, that can be extremely difficult. It's extremely stressful. It causes a great deal of anxiety. And it's not fun. You lose sleep. You just are constantly thinking of the worst. And... You need some healing and some self-care. And that's what our spiritual practices bring us. That's what all of this is. We, you can set this up and, you know, if this is what you need, you know, speak to deity, speak to the universe, meditate, do whatever it is that you need to do, or do a quick spell to kind of maybe protect your home and your belongings and hopefully have something to go back to. That's what's important. This is not a selfish thing. This is part of bringing some normal, some healing, some care, so that you can think straight in a chaotic situation. And that is why I have, I'm gonna move these things so I don't catch anything on fire. That's why I got this. Journaling can also provide some of that self-care. That's why I have the pens as well. Um, it allows you to get all your anxiety and all your stress out and clear thoughts can come in and you can put those down and then remember them. Uh, one of the worst things, you know, it's like, I'm a control freak. I had no control. And we were able to, when we got settled at my sister-in-law family house, and the cats were okay because yes five cats in two cars with a total of eight people in the two cars yes in the heat not fun um once everybody got settled we went down to the river and the experience there's no words for it it 
when I was in that water, I felt everything just wash away. I was able to think clearly to, you know, just start really getting hold of myself and not be in a constant state of panic. And that's what our spiritual practices do. And that's what sometimes you need. And so that's what this can provide. Now, I think this was like 10, $12 total to get you some kind of setup. And like I said, at the Dollar Tree, if you have to evacuate quickly and you have nothing, they have socks, they have toiletries, they have um, foods and snacks, they have, um, they have toys for the kids. They have so much. So it's something to where you can start bringing some calm and some, uh, you know, just de-stressing just a little bit. But you can also go through and take care of your spiritual practice and give it some resemblance of normalcy. And that's what's important. So to all those that are being evacuated, um, my heart and prayers go out to them. I can't imagine. Well, I can't imagine, but for some of them, they are not as fortunate as my family was. They are losing their homes and everything they have. And so, um, but this is something we need to think about in our lives. There may be times where we are completely uprooted and we have to be able to move quickly and take care of ourselves at the same time. And that's an incredibly difficult thing but it's so necessary because that is how we get through the chaotic situations. So remember, this evacuation's major tower moment. But remember, after the tower comes the star. So there will be some hope waiting for you. I promise. This may bring some hope in the moment. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any other ideas to help those out that may be uprooted, due to everything that's going on or you can think of something that maybe you will pack up and have ready to just if you have to rush out the door um, leave a comment below and thanks for watching much love and blessings